welcome to Fiery Squirrel Art, where today we'll be making a mandala. What even is a mandala, you ask? Well, it's a circle-based art form that comes to us from several different ancient cultures, most notably Tibetan Buddhist monks, but I'm not going to talk about that right now because I'm not an art teacher. Okay, I am an art teacher, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. I just want to show you what I made and how to make it. You cut out a circle. Cut a circle from a piece of paper. Then you fold it in half three times. Fold it in half three times. First time is going to look like a taco. Crease it good. You want a nice clean crease. Second fold is going to look like a quesadilla because we're going to talk about food when we fold these pieces of paper. Fold the edges again. Crease them nice and flat. On the third fold, you should have what looks like a piece of pizza or a pie. But definitely not a cone cup because you can't eat that. That's not food. Line up your corners. Take your time on this and make sure the folding goes well. The more perfect it's folded, the better off it'll go. And like me, if you made it out of paper that's hard to fold real flat, take those scissor handles and crease it down real good. All right, there's the third fold. Unfold it. You should have eight pie pieces. If you did it right, if you have 16, you folded it one time too many. Start all over. Hooray! There's eight. Now, you're going to draw in one pie piece only. That's all you have to worry about. Start drawing whatever you want in that one-eighth pie piece on the circle. It can be anything. I usually draw something abstract, and that something usually turns out to be fire, because this is fiery squirrel art. Anyway, I use a mechanical pencil. You can use a softer Graphite pencil if you want to. It'll probably make the tra the uh, transfers easier later on. There it is. I've filled that one-eighth, that one pie piece, with something. And now, I'm going to fold that next door. I'm going to fold it to where it faces right next door to the next pie piece. And I'm going to scrub the living daylights out of it with the scissor handles. This is where you need a lot of elbow grease. And you need to keep that piece of paper anchored down as well as you can starts to move around it's going to get wrinkled or torn. Now what you're doing here is making a pressure transfer. Everything you just drew in pencil is going to transfer onto that pie piece right next door. It's just one surface of the paper transferring the pencil lead to the next one. Make sure you burnish it really well. Oh look it worked! We've got some bilateral symmetry going. But we want to go beyond that. We want radial symmetry, which means we need what we've got now over the entire mandala. So what are you going to have to do? Yes, you're going to have to go over all your line work and make this second section just as dark as the first one was. So, trace on all the lines again. Now everything's equally dark in pencil graphite. Same thing. Second verse, same as the first. Fold it over next door, burnish it, and it's starting to replicate itself into a pattern that you may or may not have anticipated, and that's okay. Control freaks like me, you're going to have to let go. This thing does what it wants, and it makes things that you may not have planned on, and that's okay. Continue to darken the pencil lines until everything is uniform once again. Then you're going to burnish the entire thing all at once, one half onto the other, to where you've got the beginnings of your mandala design. Okay, I am going to ink, because I am insane. You don't have to ink, but I enjoy it. That does, however, mean going over every single line again in ink. These micron pens are very nice. I recommend, if you are crazy like me and want to ink everything. I think I used a... 0.03. All right, now we're going to add the colors. I use these nice Statler watercolor markers for the... Oh my goodness, look at that. That is beautiful. They got brush tips. Okay, so I start in the middle and I work my way out. I do one color at a time. And the reason I do this is because if I did one pie piece of the mandala all at once, like colored in everything, I'd forget which colors I use. So I just do one color at a time, working my way out from the middle. At the end, if you want to put it on a black piece of chipboard, go for it. Oh, that's pretty. Kind of helps protect it and gives it a nice gallery effect. I used a metallic Sharpie on the back of it to sign it, make it look like I actually knew what I was doing. And there it is, all finished. 
That's nice. Thumbs up, or one thumb up, anyway. Here's the one I made before that one. This is all colored pencil, so it's got a little bit of a softer edge to it. Probably took me just as long, though, because I put a lot of colors, unleashed them on this one. It looks very nice. I like it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. If you didn't get enough creative and weird this time, check out my next video when I plan to hit a bunch of random and various objects with this giant wooden hammer I'm building because I felt like it. May the soul of the fiery squirrel be with you.